Welcome back, viewers. Today we have an intriguing topic that will shed light on lesser-known facts about one of the most infamous nuclear disasters in history, Chernobyl. While many of us have heard about the explosion and its devastating consequences, there are intriguing details that often remain hidden in the shadows. So grab your radiation suits and join me as we dive into the depths of this tragic event and uncover some fascinating information. The Nuclear Meltdown at Reactor 1 Before the catastrophic accident at Reactor 4 in 1986, an earlier significant incident occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. In 1982, Reactor 1 experienced a partial nuclear meltdown. This incident, however, remained hidden from the public until after the 1986 disaster, adding to the secrecy surrounding the plant's safety concerns. The partial meltdown at Reactor 1 occurred due to a faulty cooling system. It resulted in a significant release of radiation, though not as severe as the explosion that would happen four years later. Despite the seriousness of the event, the Soviet authorities chose to keep it classified, withholding vital information from the public and even from other countries. The decision to conceal the Reactor 1 incident stemmed from a combination of factors. The Soviet Union was highly focused on maintaining its nuclear power program's reputation and asserting its technological prowess. Admitting to a nuclear accident would have been seen as a major blow to national pride and could have raised concerns about the safety of Soviet nuclear facilities. The number of casualties. While it is challenging to determine the exact number of casualties directly attributable to the Chernobyl disaster, the impact on human health was significant and far-reaching. The disaster caused immediate deaths due to acute radiation sickness and subsequent deaths from related illnesses in the years that followed. The long-term effects of radiation exposure have affected and continue to affect a much larger population. Immediately after the explosion at Reactor 4 on April 26, 1986, two plant workers died from the immediate impact of the accident. These individuals, Valery Kodomchuk and Alexander Akimov, were in close proximity to the reactor and received lethal doses of radiation during the initial moments of the explosion. The Elephant's Foot The Elephant's Foot refers to a mass of highly radioactive material formed from the remnants of the Chernobyl reactor's core. The weight is estimated to be around several tons. The exact weight is challenging to determine due to the difficulty of accessing and measuring the mass accurately. After the explosion, the intense heat and pressure caused the nuclear fuel to melt, forming a molten mass that solidified over time. What many people don't realize is that the elephant's foot is not only highly radioactive, but also physically dangerous to approach. Its initial appearance resembled a lava-like substance, but as it cooled and solidified, it transformed into a black glassy mass with a grotesque elephant foot-like shape. The elephant's foot is incredibly radioactive, emitting radiation levels that are lethal within minutes of exposure. In fact, just a brief encounter with it can result in radiation sickness and death. Its intense radioactivity and the risk it poses to human health make it an ongoing challenge for containment and cleanup efforts at the Chernobyl site. The elephant's foot is buried deep within the debris of the reactor, making it inaccessible for direct removal. Scientists and engineers have developed remote-controlled robotic systems to study and monitor its composition and radiation levels. The Underground Radioactive Water The explosion at Reactor 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in 1986 not only caused the release of radioactive materials into the atmosphere, but also had a profound impact on the water systems beneath the facility. The breach in the reactor's cooling system led to the flooding of the basement with water, resulting in the formation of an underground reservoir of radioactive water. The presence of this radioactive water is a concern due to the potential risk of it seeping into surrounding groundwater sources or being released into surface water bodies. Containing and preventing the spread of this water is crucial to avoid further contamination of the environment and potential risks to human health. Managing the underground radioactive water is an ongoing task that requires constant monitoring and mitigation efforts. The presence of this reservoir serves as a reminder of the long-lasting consequences of the Chernobyl disaster and the complexities involved in handling the environmental aftermath of a nuclear accident. 
the Bridge of Death. Near the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, there is a railway bridge that has earned the chilling moniker of the Bridge of Death. This bridge played a significant role during the initial response to the Chernobyl disaster, and its history is intertwined with the sacrifice and bravery of those who tried to contain the accident. Following the explosion at Reactor 4 on April 26, 1986, firefighters, plant workers, and first responders were dispatched to the scene to assess the situation and extinguish the fires. Many of these individuals had no idea about the extent of the danger they were about to face. The Bridge of Death served as a crucial access point for these firefighters and plant workers to reach the reactor building. Little did they know that their proximity to the reactor would expose them to deadly levels of radiation. As they crossed the bridge, they unwittingly received some of the highest radiation doses recorded during the early stages of the disaster. The bridge provided a harrowing view of the burning reactor and the surrounding destruction. The intense heat generated by the explosion had caused graphite and other debris to be strewn across the area, resulting in a highly radioactive environment. The firefighters and workers who crossed the bridge were exposed to intense radiation levels, far exceeding the lethal threshold. The high doses of radiation received on the Bridge of Death took an immediate toll on those who crossed it. Many of them experienced acute radiation sickness, with symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and severe burns. Some succumbed to their injuries within days or weeks, while others faced long-term health consequences. Today, the Bridge of Death remains a poignant sight within the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. It serves as a memorial to the courage and sacrifice of those who fought to mitigate the disaster and protect others from further harm. Visiting the bridge is a somber experience that pays tribute to the heroes who played a critical role during the early stages of the Chernobyl crisis. And that concludes our exploration of these lesser-known facts about Chernobyl. This tragic event serves as a reminder of the potential consequences of nuclear disasters and the importance of safety in the pursuit of energy. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and until our next exploration, keep questioning, keep learning, and never stop seeking the truth. <laughs>